Good evening, Flight Simmers. It is Pilot83 here, bringing y'all a FMC tutorial for the PMDG 737. In this FMC tutorial, we will cover the fix function within the FMC. Now, a lot of y'all are probably wondering what is the fix function and what is it used for? Well, the fix function allows the pilot to display radials, distance rings, or a beam point from any database waypoint, which can also be inserted directly into your flight plan. Some of these type of waypoints would be things like airports, nav aids, VORs, things from the FMC database. A couple of things that would be used for would be also like a position reference for information. It could also be used as a position for a pre-planned procedure. It could be used if ATC is asking for your position from a certain nav aid or VOR. So you will need a little bit of FMC knowledge in this plane to better understand what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to keep it very simplistic and show y'all a couple examples. If y'all like this video, I will get more in depth into it, but I like to try to keep things really easy for those who are just getting out and learning flight simming. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the plane. I'm gonna make a flight plan real quick. We'll go over a couple scenarios so you can better understand what the fix key does and what we are doing. All right, flight simmers. So for our first example of using the fix key, we will say that ATC has instructed me to report passing 210 radial of the Victor Alpha Delta VOR. So in layman terms, basically ATC is asking us that once we cross the 210 radial of this VOR right here, which is Victor Alpha Delta, to basically contact them. So we need to know exactly when we're going to pass that radial. So if we go to the fix key and key in that VOR, which is Victor Alpha Delta, we will now see a green ring around it. Also, we will see our position in reference to the fix of that VOR. So we are at radio of 234, a distance of 89.7. Now, ATC could also ask you, you know, to use this as a position of where you are. So they could say, give your position to so-and-so, uh, nav aid, VOR, airport. And this is, could be something, like I said, to give your position to ATC. But continuing on. Okay, so now we need to put in the radio that they asked. So we will know when we're crossing it so we can contact them. So from this point here. They said at 210 radial, key it in there, put it under the radial distance box. Okay, now we will see radial 210 line coming straight through here. So when our flight plan intersects with this radial line, that's when we would contact ATC. We could also look here on the screen, and we can see our predicted altitude when crossing that are miles away, we can also see our estimated time of arrival in Zulu time. Okay, neat little feature there. Let's go on to example number two. For example number two, as we are about to turn around and do our descent into Tampa, we have a special notum in our flight plan for the ORL air drum. The special instruction for this air drum, which technically is the area of Disney World, which is what this is referring to, so this is pretty neat, I did not know this, but it's saying that all aircraft, flight operations, including unmanned and remote controlled aircraft, are prohibited within a three nautical mile radius of, and you see the lateral and longitudinal coordinates, or the ORL airdrome up to and including 3,000 feet AGL. The restrictions do not apply to those aircraft authorized by or in contact with ATC for operational or safety of flight purposes. So, technically, being commercial, we could say we could go right over this, and also we are above 3,000 feet. But let's say we weren't sure if we were going to be, say it was 10,000 feet, and we said we weren't sure if we we're going to be above 10,000 feet at that time, or if we are within the range you know that we need to be away from it so say we needed to be 25 miles out from it for example 
hypothetically speaking. These are real life situations. So you'd go to fix again. We'd put in this air drum. All right, we see the VOR right up here up top. We're gonna click the top one, that's the closest one to us. Again, we're gonna see the green ring pop around it. All right, and again, we're gonna see that distance from us. All right, so the fix for this VOR is a radial of 261 at 60.2 nautical miles away. All right, so to, to make sure that we are far enough away from it, I know it said only three miles, but let's say it said 10 miles. We would come down here, do a forward slash, click down there, and we will now see this circle around it, this radial line right of 10 miles now if we were going through this then at that point there we would need to look at our altitude and make sure that we were going to be above that and that we were not going to break the law basically but if we were going to be below the altitude and go through it then we would need to deviate around this so this is a good way of knowing and make sure that we are within those parameters this is also something i use around airports when I'm coming in to make sure that I have enough time as I'm descending. I give my, I'll put myself, say, 100 miles out or something. Just a little tool that I personally do that's pretty neat. All right, and for our last example, let's say that ATC has instructed me to fly a beam of the Lima Alpha Lima Waypoint at FL40, so at 4,000 feet, a 4,000 feet restriction. All right, so we would go to the fixed waypoint. We would type in the Lima Alpha Lima VOR. We see our green ring around it again. We would click the ABM for a beam. All right, we now see our green dotted line coming across. So when we intersect this path, so we need to be at 4,000 feet when we get here. Okay, so we need to create this waypoint. All right, and we need to see where to put it in our flight plan. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, put it in the scratch pad, go back to legs, all right, so I need to put this between the ORL VOR and the fatty waypoint. All right. So I'm going to put it there. Move fatty up to get rid of the discontinuity. Execute. All right, so we now have that view or waypoint there, the Lima Alpha Lima. Now we need to change that altitude to 4,000 feet. Just forward slash 4,000. All right, and that's gonna fix it up for us. So there we go. And we now have that restriction taken care of. All right. If you have any questions, guys, you'll let me know. I hope that this video was somewhat helpful for y'all and made things seem a little bit easier. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. Thank you guys for so much for y'all's continued love and support of the channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy flying out there, everybody. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.